welcome, welcome to, to the Hidden, Hidden Treasures, Treasures episode. episode. We enjoyed making the Hidden Gems episode so much. We're back for round two. Two. <laughs> yes, and this time we've got a special array of cuisines in store for you guys. We do indeed. We have Greek food. Yen and I have also managed to track down a rare Afghani restaurant here in Auckland. And following it up with Malaysian. It's going to be a little bit unique though. It's going to be Malaysian onion. That's right. I'm starving. <laughs> Let's go. So right now we are at our first stop of the day and we're on the North Shore in Auckland. I asked my friend Georgia, who's Greek, where would you go with your family to get a delicious authentic Greek meal? She said one place only, El Greco. We're here right now, let's go get some food. So the first dish has arrived and I've got the Greek halloumi. It is goat and sheep cheese and it's fried in extra virgin olive oil. And let's try a little bit of this lemon love halloumi cheese. It is like a semi-soft texture. Mm. Yeah, that extra lemon zing that goes with it goes perfectly with the cheese. Delicious. Holy heck, look at this platter. It looks absolutely amazing. So much meat that my mouth is starting to salivate. I might try one of these patates. Just a classic looking chip, but nicely shaped. Get in there for some of this tomato sauce. So crispy on the outside, delicious. This is the lamb kebab, juice all over that. And I'm gonna get in for some of this sauce. Ketchup with a little bit of mayonnaise. It's filled with so much herby flavor. It's kind of exactly what you would expect from like a handmade kebab. So I've got the pork filet. You get like the really natural kind of flavors with this pork. It's not overly seasoned. Got this chicken kebab now. It's massive, so meaty. Grilled really well. Meat is super tender. You can taste like maybe some thyme or dill or something. It's just really delicious flavors. All very nice and natural and tastes healthy. So the final meaty component on this platter is sausage. Pork sausages. That sausage actually has a slight spiced flavor and it's a little bit sour as well. Ooh. That's an interesting sausage, that's really good. Underneath all the meat, you've got a whole bunch of meat soaked pita breads. Oh, got a little bit of dill on top. One thing about this place is it's very good value for money. The portions here are ginormous. The nice owner was saying that normally what you would do after a Greek meal is go for a nap. And that's certainly how I feel right now. Fine way to start the day off. Thank you so much for the recommendation, Georgia. So because we're trying so many different cuisines today, we thought we'd introduce language lessons. And language lesson number one is how to say hello. We're gonna do it in Greek first, and that is as simple as saying, yeah. That is the informal way of saying hello, but you can also say the formal way, which is kalimera, and that's good morning, or kalispera is good afternoon. Yo, and if you're wondering where we are right now, this is Mount Eden. That used to be an active volcano. And the next language tip we're gonna give you is how to say good morning in Malaysian. And that is, Salama Pagi. And for the final language lesson, it's how to greet in Dari, which is one of the national languages spoken in Afghanistan. And that is, Salam Malakom. For our second stop of the day, we are right here at Mount Roskill, Auckland, and we're gonna to go to Kabul House, which has some authentic Afghani food. If you recognize this location, well, it's actually Koz. We've actually been here for the Hidden Gems episode. There's Cafe Abyssinia right over there, and in the comment section, someone recommended this place. So, we're gonna check it out. Afghani food, let's get it. So we're sitting here on the traditional tak. This is the first time for Peter and I to experience this. It's a really nice way of eating as well. It feels like you're closer to the food and closer with whoever you're with. It's really cool. And we've got our first dish here. It is a chicken soup. Wow, I was not expecting that. <laughs> there is so much flavor packed into this chicken soup. It's peppery. It's a um, little tangy. Very chickeny as well. My goodness, that's, that's really unusual, but super delicious. I think this Hidden Treasures, Hidden Gems, whatever we're calling it episode, is definitely one of Yen and I's favorite episodes to do because we get to try food from many different cultures. And Afghani food, we've only had it one time before, and it's delicious, I can tell you that. I'm going in for one of my favorites right now, which is called the manto, which is the dumplings. So normally these dumplings are filled with either beef or lamb, we found, and it's covered with a little bit of yogurt. There's also mint on top of this one, dried mint, and some chickpeas, it looks like. I'm gonna go in for a bite of this. The flavor inside the dumpling itself is just perfect. The beef is really well, nice and seasoned. 
It's really soft and the actual dumpling skin itself is just as good as a Chinese restaurant because you know we love our dumplings. It's more like the wonton texture rather than the dumpling texture so it's a little bit thinner and the addition of the yogurt and the spice and the mint is just a really nice enhancement on the flavours. This next dish is called the banjan borani. It's eggplant topped with potato and garlic sauce. Oh, it looks pretty amazing. Let's go in for one. You can see on top of this it also has the dried mint. You've got that yummy potatoey mushiness mixed with that little bit of mint and the yogurt sauce. A little bit salty, but a whole lot of yum. That's such a nice dish. I'm not even like a huge fan of eggplant, but I love this dish in here. This is a Afghan dough. It's a very unique drink. It's got cucumbers, mint, it has a little bit of coriander even, yogurt in there. It's very refreshing, but also salty. <laughs> the final dish that I'm trying here is a barbs. Looks like the meat has been treated very nicely here over a charcoal grill or a grill of some kind. It's almost unbelievable how succulent the meat is inside that chicken. It just, it's super moist and it's just a, like a chicken breast. I don't know how you get so much moisture into chicken breast. The outside has a very nice char flavor to it and the rice has a little bit of sweetness because I got a raisin in the bite. I'm gonna go in for some lamb now too. The lamb, just like the chicken, is just so moist inside. I don't understand what kind of magicery has gone on into making this meat so tender and the outside has just such a nice scent to it. I think if you haven't tried Afghani food before, you definitely need to break out of your comfort zone and come and try it out because it's super delicious. This is only our second time but we can definitely, definitely see ourselves coming back and get more of this kind of food. Amazing. Final stop, it's Malaysia Nonya Restaurant. This is actually a family favorite of ours and I celebrated my 21st birthday here. <laughs> Let's go inside. Okay, so the first dish has arrived and this is the Nokyang Five Spice Pork Roll. Before we tuck into this food, the word Nonya describes a person that is part Malay and part Chinese. No how cheers. <laughs> it's got a crispy outside skin, which is generally tofu. And on the inside, you've got a really nice mixture of fatty pork and also a little bit of lean pork. It's definitely on the more fatty side. And it's filled with flavor. So this is one of the signature dishes here at Nonya, and it's called the Golden Pillow. So inside, there's a bunch of curry chicken. Outside, golden glowy part, which is bread. It's just done so well. It's nice and hot, steamy inside, very soft on the inside, and nice and crispy on the outside. The curry is super thick. Gosh, it's gone in with a <laughs> so right, this is gonna be a massive mouthful. I think I can do it though. It's still steaming. <laughs> Such a mess. <laughs> oh, that golden pillow? We've been having it for like 14 years. Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. <laughs> still delicious. Still just as good as that first time that we had it, and we were like, wow. Got myself a piece of chicken, and like any classic Hainanese chicken rice, you've got to have that delicious sauce plus the chili. So, check, check, got them both here. This is the second best chicken rice that you can get in New Zealand. Of course, after Mum's chicken rice. <laughs> check out that episode as well. We love the chicken rice here at Nonia Restaurant. Always really well cooked. We went for the full chicken. No half things here. <laughs> and that chicken rice as well goes with it perfectly. So the next dish that we're going in for is the butter prawns. So this is a bit different to what we used to have. This is closer to what I used to eat when I was waitressing at a Malaysian restaurant back when I was younger. So I'm really excited to try this. The prawns here, butter prawns, amazing. Love that fried crispiness that's on the top. It's sweet, it's salty. The prawns, super juicy. That's incredibly delicious. I think it's probably still one of my favorites. Another classic dish, it's the egg tofu. The egginess on the inside is my favorite part. But also, another one of the nice qualities is the outside is fried. So it's nice and crispy. 
and so because it's nice and crispy it's able to soak in a lot of the soy sauce that's underneath and then we got these four treasure beans the pickles that are in there are like my favorites so i actually prefer that the most of the of the whole dish i'm not a big veggie eater but when they're made like this that's delicious <laughs> because it's covered in flavor. <laughs> Nonya Malaysian restaurant, we've been coming here for so many years. Yes, it's definitely a hidden treasure of Auckland. That wraps up our hidden treasures episode. Yes indeed, what a full ass day of eating. I think I'm gonna have the meat sweats tonight. If you enjoyed this episode and seeing food from many different cultures in Auckland, be sure to help us out by liking this video and maybe even subbing. Catch you all on the next episode. See ya. <laughs> See ya.